Well, I'm here to talk about everybody's favorite topic, blood and urine samples. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're very excited. <clears throat> Sorry. We're very excited about the uh, SpaceX launch tomorrow. Um, we're more excited for SpaceX to come home because what we're expecting is 384 syringes of urine and 112 tubes of blood uh, to come home in this SpaceX Dragon capsule. Um, these samples will support two of the experiments that my team has uh, on board the International Space Station. The first one is what we call nutrition, simply enough, uh, and that's a study looking at a broad-based biochemical set of parameters in blood and urine to try to better understand nutritional status um, and related physiological symptoms, things like bone metabolism, uh, oxidative stress, you name it. Uh, we also have an experiment that these samples support known as Pro-K, and this is a countermeasure study where we're actually looking at using uh, modifying the diet to help minimize uh, diet, uh, using the diet to help minimize bone changes during flight. Now, to talk briefly about uh, the way these samples are collected, I think the first picture um, shows Aki Hishide after one of his blood collections. The blood collections are just like they are when you go to the clinic here on Earth. <clears throat> we use a standard needle, standard tubes, and you can see he's smiling there, so it can't be all that bad. On the other side, one of the most common questions folks get uh, when, when from NASA when you go out and talk is how do people go to the bathroom? Uh, and while we do have a typical, what we call a waste collection system, or you might call a toilet, um, just like your toilet at home, it doesn't collect any samples. So when we want to collect samples for scientific reasons, we have to have a different way to do that. And what we do is we have what's called a urine collection device. And I brought one of these here that you can see. This is essentially a bag with a, this is the male version, with a condom cuff on the one hand. Uh, there is a different adapter for females. Um, the crew member voids into the bag. Before flight, we put in a small amount of a, a volume marker, a chemical that goes in the bag. They void in the bag, mix it up, and then out the blue port in this end, they take one of these syringes and will fill this up with urine. And this is what comes home. And again, we're expecting just under 400 of these tubes of urine to come home. The other bag goes, in the, uh, goes in, into another bag and then essentially goes into the trash. So while it may, it may seem very strange to some folks, uh, and I, my typical line is that it may be urine to you, but it's gold to us, uh, and that there's a lot of science that comes out of this. We've been doing these experiments for, for a number of years now. Actually, yesterday marked the sixth anniversary of our first blood collection on board the International Space Station. Mike Lopez, I'll agree, did that on Expedition 14. Uh, and we've published a number of our studies over the years. Uh, one of the more recent studies um, published last month in the Journal of Bone Mineral Research. Uh, and what we, what we showed there is uh, that crew members that eat well, that have good vitamin D status, that exercise hard, uh, can maintain their bone mineral density. And as I said, we published that last month. The image you're seeing there is the cover of the September Journal of Bone and Mineral Research. JBMR is considered the leading bone scientific journal out there. Um, and we were honored to be selected not only to have our paper published there, um, but to make the cover as well. Uh, and while there are some nuances to the data that we found, that is we have not, we've not yet entirely solved the bone problem, uh, we have shown for the first time in 51 years of human spaceflight significant progress in uh, maintaining bone mineral density. Uh, again, there's some things that we still need to do in terms of understanding changes in bone strength. There's some things we need to do in terms of optimizing exercise, in terms of optimizing nutrition. Um, but again, the fact that we're making progress uh, in human subjects during spaceflight um, is, uh, is, is very exciting stuff. And again, that's why we're very excited for uh, just about 500 tubes of uh, blood and urine to come home at the end of this month.